For the past two and a half years, since January 2015, UNICEF Rwanda, with the support of IKEA Foundation, has worked tirelessly to transform the lives of children in Rwanda by investing in community-based services for young children and their families. Early Childhood Development and Family Project was introduced in Rwanda by UNICEF. The project used a participatory approach to make sure that people's needs and opinion shape the services. For example, the ECDNF Center was designed together with the community. Such participation led to stronger community ownership. People contributed to building their first ECD Center, a first step to make a better village for their children. I'm expecting that this ECDNF Center will help my child to grow intellectually. It will reduce her time with me in the farm. She will be in a cleaner environment and will develop both physically and intellectually. At the beginning of the project, there were both hopes and doubts. Now, 10 ECDNF centers were built in 10 out of 30 districts. They are all fully operational and equipped with teaching, learning and play material, as well as improved water sources. Initially, Imbuto Foundation managed these centers. It wasn't an easy task for caregivers in the starting days of ECD centers. After two years and a half, they are proud of what they achieved. The parenting classes at ECD centers have also helped parents to learn how they can take care of their babies from pregnancy. With UNICEF advocacy, religious leaders joined the effort to promote ECD. They helped to convince those who were in doubt and reach the poorest population in the villages. As a religious leader, I don't see myself as only serving those people that are in my hands. I see the role of serving the community from which I live so that that institution can be the sort and light of the community. Harnessing the power of media, UNICEF launched a children's radio program with the Rwanda Broadcasting Agency, which benefits all children in Rwanda. The first ECD program in Rwanda, called Itetero, provides educational content and social skills for all young children in every village of the country. This educational media program was selected the finalist in the Japan Prize 2016, a prestigious media award for educational media contents. Local authorities also played a big role in nurturing the society that appreciates ECD. The program was designed with a holistic approach, with an innovative ambition to address all aspects of children's lives. The result is more confident and smart children who are growing to become the leaders of the next generation.
Parents testified that children who attended ECD score high when they go in primary schools. ECD yangi la kamaru chane, gitu gombo neza mikurile. Nabula gamuwa nsijiru mgana, aliku mgana wanjia jizimnya akine muzana hano araha, araha rerirgwa, ajia gutanji la kuchigo, cha miyo ve, muri primeri. Yajiza manotame za chana wani mwa kajiwamba za nguyu mgana wa mge gishiji. Nghababu kia nihize kurisiti. Aga kuna kongi na mwani mwani mge nguyu mwani yize nga mwani yozi. Almost 11,400 young children are now benefiting from ECD and F services, both at home and in the centers, thanks to the 90 ECD staff that were recruited, trained and mentored. Linkage with health is now strengthened with over 1,500 community health workers trained on ECD. The impact of this program on local communities is best highlighted by the transformative change that families and communities experienced. I was able to see that 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 I was able Urugomba nzame kure tayi rukwaza hano iwacu hano nari umubyeyi rwose umwana yaragaza karabye nana hari namaza hari ngo nabakaro kubera ubujiji nyine kutasobanukirwa ubu ngubu umwana akaraba buri munsi ndetse gakaraba umubiri wose bo ndetse n'uwo mwana na wubwe nubwo waba ufuba gikoga gatoya rwose arakwibutsa kubera kugijuka ati mama ndashaka ko nkarabya kandi ukanasiga the numbers also speak volumes as to the success of the program. From the project evaluation, it was found that a record 53% of children have access to playthings from 16% in 2015. Availability of children's books has increased from 2% to 9%, and 94% of children have regular playmates from 63% at baseline. The percentage of children attending ECD services has increased from 16% to a staggering 41%. Over 6,300 parents, including 1,233 fathers, were reached through parenting education. For parents unable to take care of their children while at work, two mobile crash were successfully piloted and the government of Rwanda is scaling up the initiative across the country. One of the major components of the program's success is the child-sensitive policies of the government of Rwanda at national and decentralized governance levels. The ECD policy was approved by the cabinet and the main content of this uh, policy is uh, to roll out those services at uh, the village level and we are hoping to work with the Minister of uh, Local Government and uh, the local authorities and all partners to make sure that they understand that what we need is not the big building they are initiating in many districts, but the service that is provided. That's our hope, that's our target, to have this uh, quality of service with uh, impactful results at the Omodurudu level. The successful implementation of the UNICEF Rwanda and IKEA Foundation project in the last two and a half years has been instrumental in establishing the center of excellence and cost-effective solutions to improve the lives of young children. The continued partnership between UNICEF Rwanda and IKEA Foundation will build on this success and scale up the integrated package of these cost-effective and sustainable solutions to improve the lives of children and their families. UNICEF is proud to continue supporting Rwanda in early childhood development to give every child the best start in life.